So the latest Borderlands 3 stream has not long ended. And we've been, we found, uh, well, we heard new details and a new DLC that comes November. The exact day it comes is November 21st and it's called Takedown at Malibu's Black Site. Today I bring you all the details we've learned over the past hour or so regarding this DLC and it sounds pretty amazing. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. Borderlands. Okay, so Gearbox have not long dropped a whole heap of new details on this new DLC, basically covering everything that was mentioned within the stream. Now, the stream you'll find if you want to check it out, it is just over an hour long. You'll find it linked within the video description. But today, we'll go through all the details I believe you need to know about this upcoming DLC. So, Take down that Malawan's black site. Like the ongoing Bloody Harvest event, takedowns are more free content being added to Borderlands 3. But unlike the seasonal events, which are only available for a limited time, takedowns are permanent additions that you can take on when you feel you're ready. The only power quest site to tackling a takedown is completing the main story campaign. But it's strongly recommended that you first take your Vault Hunter all the way to level 50 and collect plenty of legendary gear to hone your preferred build. So yes guys, you do need to have completed the Borderlands 3 campaign and it is recommended you are a level 50 before you take part in this new DLC. If you fought your way through Borderlands 3's campaign, you already know how dodgily the Maluan Corporation wants you dead. With its seemingly infinite army of soldiers Outfitted with highly advanced tech, Maliwan's forces pose a threat not just to you and your fellow Fault Hunters, but the galaxy at large. Lorelei helped lead the change against Maliwan's troops during their attempted hostile takeover of the Atlas Corporation on Promethea. And she's wary that they might come back to try and finish the job. In order to starve off another potential invasion, she's asking you to take the fight directly to Maliwan with a preemptive strike on one of their most secure, highly guarded facilities. It sounds like a suicide mission, but you've survived plenty of those before. Enter the takedown on Maliwan's black site. The takedown of Maliwan's black site is designed to be a four player co-op mission at level 50 and the enemies there will all scale to that level by default. You have the option to attempt this takedown solo, but don't be surprised if you don't even make it past Maliwan's first line of defense. Fortunately, public matchmaking will be an option for takedowns, so that's cool to know. So even if you don't run with a dedicated crew of Vault Hunters, you can team up with match made strangers and venture into takedown's brutal test of skill. Unlike the rank and file infantry you've blasted before, only the most elite Maliwan soldiers have been stationed to guard Maliwan's black site. You'll encounter tons of Spec Ops Maliwan squads on this all new map, plus three incredible tough boss fights. Randy alluded on stream by the way to some of the new Maliwan mercenaries awaiting your arrival. The right troopers whose shields absorb elemental damage that can be directed back at you. And stealth troopers who can fully cloak as if they carefully studied Flex fadeaway action skill. You'll encounter even more enemy variants if you've got what it takes to brave the takedown at Maliwan's black site on true Vault Hunter mode. The Borderlands show also gave you a quick glimpse of Walton the Invincible, a mercenary behemoth of a boss that fires missile barrages from behind its massive shields. Take Down at Maliwan's Black Site is some of the most challenging Borderlands 3 content yet, but the potential rewards are worth the risk. You can score all kinds of loot in Takedown that you won't find anywhere else, including some of the best shields in the game and even exclusive Vault Hunter head and skin options. Takedowns are tuned for about 30 to 45 minutes of non-stop action. They're probably a little bit longer than the Proving Grounds right now, but not too strong. Randy explained on the Borderlands show, we still like that you can come play a session, then either replay it or take a break and come back tomorrow. It's designed to be replayable content. Takedown at Maliwan's Black Site will be coming to Borderlands 3 on November 22nd and you've got some time to prepare your best builds and start strategizing with a group of like-minded Vault Hunters who are up to the task. We'll have more to share about the takedown at Maliwan's Black Site in the coming weeks, so be sure to check back on Borderlands.com. And you can catch the next episode of The Borderlands Show during the week of November 18th for even more reveals and in-depth 
Borderlands discussion. They also obviously talk about new exclusive loot tied to this event, showcasing a few weapons and shields too. They do say that the main rewards to consider here though from this DLC and for your build will be shields, which is pretty cool. Take a listen of what they say on screen now. Oh, and, and play again. So, Is there specific loot tied to it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So level 50, four player co-op. You can, as soon as you unlock it, you can go play it. You can go play it single player if you want. I know some people are going to try, but it really is ba balanced for level 50. You're going to play through all that, get the bosses, and yes, unique loot that you can only get here. So uh, one of the big things that we're going to introduce here is some of the best shields in the game. Probably the, the at the time that they came, our goal is that these are the best shields in the game at the time that this content launches. Uh, again, some really it's great new shield. shield and brand new, brand new content. There's also going to be heads and skins, as well as I think at least one trophy that you can get to Hell say yeah. that I've done it right. You can put back in your your trophies. Crew fancy, <laughs> get off right, that yeah, PC. Always. Come on over. So that is pretty cool, people. Like I said, this arrives on November 21st which actually is only about three weeks away, if that. Now, if you missed my last video, they also dropped on this stream a shift code, which if you enter, you get these four unique helmets, which look absolutely incredible. These are the spooky surprise weekly event rewards. Basically, this is what you get. And you have until November 5th to enter the shift code. You can see on screen now to get these four amazing helmets, one per character. So get entering people. But yes, this is all we know about Takedown at Malawan's Black Site at the moment. If any more information does drop, I will have you covered right here on my channel. That is for sure. More news you may have missed earlier also. The changes they applied to Mayhem last week with the Mayhem on Twitch event, which adjusted anointed loot drops, basically buffing them, and changed a few things to make Mayhem a little bit easier. They haven't removed these changes. They are still in place until further notice. So take advantage of these guys, get those anointed items you want, and make the most of it. Now, like I said, if any more information comes, I will have you covered right here on my channel. But guys, that is it. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you want to check out the full stream, you'll find it linked within the video video description but guys thanks as always for stopping by i do hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one